is going on you guys welcome back to another video and to the channel so for this video I'm going to be resealing one of my headlight lenses specifically my passenger side headlight lens because it has started to separate from the headlight housing so taking a look at my headlight here you guys can clearly see there is a significant gap between the lens and the headlight housing this has made it super easy for water to get inside the headlight and when I go to wash my car or it rains, there is significant condensation on the inside of the lens here. I honestly don't know how nothing has malfunctioned or stopped working, but everything still works on the headlight, thankfully. So before anything does malfunction, I'm going to go ahead and reseal this lens. For those of you who may not be aware and haven't been following the channel for that long, I do have a headlight retrofit, a custom retrofit of my original stock xenon so these are my original headlights they just have been customized retrofitted with aftermarket led rings these rings right here these are aftermarket rings so they are much brighter and look so much better i also had the inside housing painted satin black to give it a cooler more aggressive look now i didn't do the retrofit myself i had a professional do it for me and he had you know take apart the lenses initially so he had to pry the lenses off of the housing with the original factory uh, seal which is pretty difficult but he did it and he resealed them eventually um, I ended up replacing the lenses again after that because some sort of buildup formed right here and it just looked really ugly so yeah I ended up replacing both lenses uh, myself so I had to uh, reseal them again and that was the last time I messed with these headlights and uh, either I didn't do a good job or the sealant here just like failed over time from it getting too hot. I'm assuming that's what happened like from over time from just this, you know, heating up and cooling down. It just started to separate. But as you can see on this headlight, it does not have that issue because initially the guy who did my retrofit installed holes or drilled holes for screws to hold the two, to hold the lens and the housing together. And uh, from what I can tell, that's played a huge role in keeping this lens together not separating like that one so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be taking off this headlight here so that I can uh, reseal the lens and maybe show you guys you know some of the stuff inside the housing since once I have the lens off we can see inside the housing and get a look at the rings these are the tools and materials I'm gonna be using to do this uh, reseal so I have this little tool here that helps pry apart the lens and the housing and then I have some new headlight sealant material here. It's like a rubbery glue type of material that um, softens when you heat it up. That's why I have a heat gun here also. So with the heat gun, I'll soften this up and then I'll clamp the lens and the headlight housing together with this. This will hold it together pretty tightly so that it can cool down and harden. So yeah, with that, let's go ahead and start removing this headlight. So I just finished up removing the headlight. I have removed the headlight a couple times already, so it was pretty easy. Um, some of you probably noticed that there was some fluid dripping there, and that's just from the headlight washing fluid. Uh, one of the connection hose connections just detached a bit, and it started leaking. By the way, if any of you guys know how to use that, please let me know because my car has it, but I don't know how to activate it. So if any of you guys know, how to use this feel free to let me know in the comment section so here I have my headlight and we get a better look of this seal here where it's separating as you can see that's the biggest gap right there and you can see over here it started to separate also a bit 
You can see it's broken a bit there from when the guy, the installer, uh, initially removed, the, removed these lenses with the factory seal. You can see on this side it also has a gap right in here. Let's go ahead and flip it over real quick. It looks like the bottom is still okay. Actually, maybe not. As you get a closer look there, it looks like there is a gap also on the bottom. So yeah, this seal is pretty much just all compromised everywhere around the entire lens. So yeah, this definitely needed to be done. So how I'm going to do this is pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and heat up the existing seal right here with uh, my heat gun that I have right here. You can heat it up with that and then that will soften the sealant to the point where it's priable. Uh, right now it probably is priable, but I'd rather get it more soft so that it's easier to pry off. So yeah, once I heat up the entire seal, I'll go ahead and use these right here to simply pry it open like that. It's just all along the lens until I can get the lens completely off. So yeah, I'll go ahead and start with that. So as you guys saw, I got the lens off fairly easy. Now, if you were to be taking off the lenses for the very first time, like with the factory seal, that would be a lot more difficult and a lot harder and would take a lot more time since the factory seal is a lot more, you know, secure obviously than this. This is like with aftermarket sealant around the housing. So with that one, like from what I know, you have to put the entire headlight like in the oven and then heat it up for like 10 minutes and then you have a chance at you know prying the lens off uh, from the factory seal but it is a lot harder and a lot more difficult as you guys can see the installer like really had to pry this the lens off with whatever tool you use i'm assuming you use something like this but in some parts like it, it's like broken or bent so that shows like he really had to use some force to get this thing off so it's not easy and it's not going to be a clean you know removal but since i resealed these myself with aftermarket sealant um it was a lot easier as you guys saw but don't think it's this easy if you were to replace your lens for the first time the very first time with the factory seal it's going to be a lot harder but now that the lens is off you guys can see inside the headlights and all of the wiring from the led rings you guys can see they simply just stick on top of the original drl rings that are on the headlight the installer simply painted over them with the satin black paint so there's no light that shines through and then he just stuck these on top on the outside with some double-sided tape and that's all it really took for these to sit in place you guys can see the wiring on the bottom there and a couple of screws up there to disassemble the um, original DRLs which are back here behind the LED rings. So I honestly think it is definitely doable to install these rings yourself. I kind of wish I would have attempted it myself first um, after you know taking off the lens and kind of looking at it. I honestly think it's worth a shot. I don't think it's that difficult. I, th I do think it's kind of tedious if you've never taken anything apart before but most of us work on our cars and are willing to you know take things apart and learn like me. So I totally wish I would have tried to install these rings by myself instead of paying someone else to do it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for these rings. Nothing crazy. So now that I got the lens off, I'm going to go ahead and try to remove the old sealant here inside the gap, inside this little opening here. I'm going to try to get as much as I can. I'm going to try to get all of it, but it's just going to be impossible to get every single bit of it. So I'll just try to get most of it and then I'll be able to lay the new sealant here and here. This is what it looks like. You just get a roll of it, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to scrape the sealant out, like I said, and then go ahead and lay some new sealant to reseal this lens.
right, so I just finished up scraping off the old sealant. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay some new sealant and a little crevice around the housing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the new sealant so that it softens. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press the lens back in place. And then I'm gonna use some of these clamps to hold the lens and the housing together until the sealant cools and hardens. All right, so at this point, I have basically resealed the lens now. I just have the clamps in place to hold the lens and the housing together until the sealant dries and cools and has more of a solid state. Once I let it sit like this for like 10 minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes for a screw somewhere along here on the bottom and then one on the top just like how I have it on the other headlight, which I believed helped that one stay together and not separate. So I'm gonna do that on this one so this one does not separate again. I used a bit more sealant this time when resealing the headlight. Uh, the first time I did the lens replacement, I didn't use that much sealant, which may have caused it to separate. So this time I used a bit more and hopefully that'll fill all the gaps and create a better seal than what I did last time. drilled three screws into the housing to keep the lens and the housing together. I have two on the top there and then one on the bottom right there. I think that should be plenty to keep the lens from separating from the housing again. So with that, that pretty much finishes up the reseal of this headlight lens. So now we can go ahead and put it back on to the car. everything put back together and now we should have a completely sealed headlight as you can see there are no more gaps and we have some screws there to hold it in place so this does not separate again so yeah this is pretty easy to do since I've already done this before when I replace the lenses so yeah it won't be as easy if you want to replace your lenses and you have to open up your headlights with the factory seal like I said there are videos I've seen of people doing it so it is possible it's just not as easy as you guys saw me do it in this video but yeah this should be fixed now there shouldn't be any more condensation buildup inside the headlight and everything should be good so yeah this issue I had with my headlight lens separating is an issue you want to think about and consider when you are doing a headlight retrofit you know have them you know put screws uh, like this if you're having someone else do it for you or if you're doing it yourself do this so that this does not happen it isn't a major issue but it is an issue that you can encounter since the factory sealant is always the best you know this aftermarket seal isn't really the best thing obviously since it's aftermarket the car manufacturers obviously put more effort into sealing the headlights so that nothing gets in especially water so yeah that's really the takeaway from this video is just consider that if you are thinking about doing a headlight retrofit on your BMW or any car. 
So uh, yeah guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys have any questions about the headlights and the reseal that I didn't cover in the video, feel free to ask me those questions in the comment section below. Also feel free to check out my website, inline6auto.com if you're looking for any aftermarket modifications for your BMW E90 3 Series. A lot of these mods I have on the car are available on my website, inline6auto.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video if you guys want to check it out by any chance. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this if you liked what you saw. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.